Have you ever seen a giant ship? It's huge. It's made of metal. Metal is heavy. But guess what? Ships float on water. How is that possible? It seems impossible, but it's true. It's all thanks to science. Let's dive in and learn the secrets of how ships float. Get ready to be amazed. The secret to floating is something called buoyancy. It's a fascinating principle that explains why some objects float while others sink. Buoyancy is the upward push of water on an object. This force is what keeps boats afloat and allows you to float in a pool. Imagine you're in a swimming pool. You feel lighter, right? That's because of buoyancy. You try to push a beach ball underwater. It's hard. The ball keeps popping back up. The water pushes back up with a force. That's buoyancy in action. It's like an invisible hand pushing the ball upwards. The bigger the object, the more water it pushes away. This is called water displacement. The more water it pushes away, the stronger the buoyancy force. This is why large ships can float even though they are very heavy. This force needs to be stronger than the object's weight for it to float. If the buoyant force is greater than the weight, the object will rise to the surface and float. Different objects have different buoyancies. Some float easily while others sink. It's all about the balance between the object's weight and the buoyant force. Next time you're in the water, think about the magic of buoyancy. It's science at work, making you feel lighter and allowing you to float effortlessly. A long time ago, a really smart guy named Archimedes figured this out. It's called Archimedes' principle. He said that the buoyant force on an object is equal to the weight of the water the object displaces. So, if a ship can push away an amount of water that weighs the same as the ship itself, it will float. Pretty cool, right? Section 4. Shape Matters how boats are made to float. Have you ever wondered why massive ships don't just sink to the bottom of the ocean? It's all about clever design and understanding the principles of buoyancy. It's not just about weight, though. While weight is a crucial factor, the distribution of that weight plays an equally important role. The shape of the ship matters, too. A well-designed shape can make all the difference in keeping a vessel afloat. Ships are designed to displace a lot of water. Think about a bathtub. When you fill it with water and then get in, the water level rises. This is because your body displaces the water. If you put a flat plate in the water, it might sink. This is because it doesn't displace enough water to counteract its weight. But if you shape it into a bowl, it floats. The bowl shape allows it to displace more water, which helps it stay afloat. That's because the bowl shape displaces more water. The more water it displaces, the greater the buoyant force acting on it. Ships are kind of like giant floating bowls. Their hulls are designed to maximize water displacement, ensuring they stay buoyant even when carrying heavy loads. They have a special shape called a hull that helps them displace tons of water. This hull design is crucial for stability and buoyancy, allowing ships to navigate through various water conditions safely. The hull's cross-section is carefully engineered to balance the ship's weight and the water it displaces. This balance is what keeps the ship afloat and stable. Even in rough seas, a well-designed hull can help a ship stay upright and prevent it from capsizing. This is why naval architects spend so much time perfecting hull designs. Modern shipbuilding techniques have advanced significantly, allowing for more efficient and safer designs. These innovations ensure that ships can carry more cargo while maintaining their buoyancy and stability. So next time you see a massive ship sailing smoothly on the water, Remember the incredible engineering and design that goes into making it float. It's a perfect blend of science and art, ensuring that these giants of the sea can safely traverse the world's oceans. Section 5. Real-Life Floaters From Tiny Boats to Giant Ships Boats come in all shapes and sizes, from the smallest dinghies to the largest ocean liners. So, next time you see a boat, a ferry, or even a giant cargo ship, remember, there's a fascinating science behind why they float. They float because of buoyancy. This principle allows even the heaviest ships to stay afloat. They displace a lot of water. The amount of water displaced is key to their buoyancy, and they have a special shape that helps them do it. The hull design is crucial for stability and efficiency. It's all thanks to science and the brilliant mind of Archimedes. His principles laid the foundation for modern shipbuilding. Now you know the secret of how ships float. Next time you see a vessel gliding across the water, you'll appreciate the science and engineering that make it possible.